Have you ever wondered about the limits to how much you can deposit into an EverBank account? It's a common question, and one that can be a bit confusing. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the EverBank deposit limits, breaking down the different types of accounts and their associated restrictions. Understanding Deposit Limits Let's start by understanding why deposit limits exist in the first place. Banks and financial institutions often impose limits to manage risk and comply with regulations. These limits can vary depending on the type of account, the customer's financial history, and other factors. EverBank Deposit Limits Now, let's get to the heart of the matter, EverBank Deposit Limits. While the exact limits can fluctuate over time, we'll provide you with a general overview to give you a clear understanding. Checking Accounts Daily Deposit Limit EverBank typically sets a daily limit on the amount of money you can deposit into your checking account. This limit is designed to prevent fraud and maintain account security. Monthly Deposit Limit in addition to the daily limit, there may also be a monthly limit on the total amount you can deposit into your checking account. This is often a higher limit than the daily limit. Savings Accounts Daily Deposit Limit Savings accounts usually have higher daily deposit limits compared to checking accounts. This is because savings accounts are primarily used for long-term savings and investment purposes. Monthly Deposit Limit Similar to checking accounts, there may also be a monthly deposit limit for savings accounts. However, these limits are generally more flexible and higher than those for checking accounts. Certificate of Deposit, CDs Initial Deposit Limit When opening a CD, there's often a minimum initial deposit requirement. This amount can vary depending on the CD term and interest rate. Subsequent deposits, once you've opened a CD, you may or may not be able to make additional deposits. The terms of your CD will specify whether subsequent deposits are allowed. Factors affecting deposit limits Several factors can influence the deposit limits on your EverBank accounts, including Account type, the type of account you have, checking, savings, CD, will determine the specific deposit limits. Account history, your account history, including your transaction patterns and creditworthiness, can also affect your deposit limits. Regulatory requirements, EverBank must comply with various regulations that may impact deposit limits. Bank policies, the bank's internal policies and procedures can also influence deposit limits. Tips for managing deposit limits. If you're approaching your deposit limits, here are some tips to help you manage your funds effectively. Plan ahead, anticipate your deposit needs, and make sure you have sufficient funds available to avoid exceeding limits. Consider multiple accounts. Opening multiple accounts can help you spread out your deposits and avoid reaching limits on any single account. Review account terms. Familiarize yourself with the terms and conditions of your EverBank accounts to understand the specific deposit limits and restrictions. Contact customer service. If you have questions or concerns about your deposit limits, don't hesitate to contact EverBank's customer service department for assistance. In conclusion, EverBank deposit limits are designed to protect both the bank and its customers. By understanding these limits and planning accordingly, you can effectively manage your finances and avoid any unnecessary inconveniences. If you have any further questions about EverBank deposit limits or need assistance with your account, feel free to leave a comment below or contact EverBank directly. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.